Welcome to Germany. We're here at the Bolt Test Track to check out the first ever roller coaster at sea. It's grand, it's innovative, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. It's Mardi Gras, the ultimate cruise ship. With six widely different themed zones, never before seen technology, and one of a kind thrills. Now we're going on a behind the scenes journey to give you the ultimate preview. The countdown to her arrival starts now. Right now we're in the warehouse where Bolt is physically been built before it makes its way to the market. Bolt is around about 180 feet above sea level. The length of the track is about 700 feet. It's, it's one solid track right now. How are we gonna, you know, disassemble that and, mm -hmm. and put that on a ship now? It's very easy. So before we ship it, we have to disassemble the tracks. Right. And then we load it in containers and ship it to the shipyard. You guys don't worry because I'm gonna be screwing the track together for you. Now, Mara have been building roller coasters all around the world. I think it's pretty safe to say they know exactly what they're doing. And right now, I am here with Steve Boney, who's part of the Mara team, to tell us all about the unique experience of Bolt. So this is where it all began. Tell us, how long has this taken? We've been working on this for about three or four months. Man, it looks fantastic. I guess they're going to be stoked to see this. Here's what I want to know. What makes a roller coaster different on land to, to what we're going to expect to see at sea? <laughs> Really good. So for the people who love roller coasters like us, we think this would be the most amazing experience that uh, we can actually create on a ship. Every, every time you go, the ship will be moving to a different port and you have a different view, a different moment. And then of course you control it yourself. So all the other coasters you've been on, you strap in, you go and you kind of wait for the ride and experience. Here you're part of the experience. Uh -huh. So you're going to be out there and you're going to choose your own fun on the ride. You can have acceleration twice uh, the amount of a Porsche 911. Now, uh, one thing that is really special is that you don't get this experience on your own. You get to share it with somebody else, right? Absolutely. So there's a two-seat vehicle. Uh -huh. So you can trade on who wants to sit in front and drive for a while, then the next one. Then you can compete against each other. What we've done is we've installed a camera inside the vehicle itself. So when you're actually taking your, your trip around the track, it'll capture you. We can actually download and send it to your camera and you can share it with all your friends. Now, that's like a good thing and a bad thing. So, so for me, I'm a diagnosed wuss, right? So I want to be able to get on their brave, get off their brave, but I don't want to see my reaction on the way around. They're going to see some stuff. Give me kind of a point of reference. Yeah, so if you uh, take a look forward, uh -huh. you'll see um, this will be the, where the funnel is. Right. Yeah, and then if you look towards the back here where the, where the helix is, that's the ultimate playground. So people will actually be playing below it. And then all this action will be going up above you and that's creating a whole bunch of energy. Energy. Well, you're looking at the first official rider of Bolt. Man, I can't believe this is finally happening. This is not actually happening. We're doing dummy tests. What do you mean we're doing dummy tests? How you got me coming all the way to Germany to do some dummy tests? No. It's not okay, man. Maybe it is okay. Hey, this just means we gotta go out to Mardi Gras and see Bolt. But make sure you come and join me for lots more episodes as we've got lots more in store for you. Until then, bye. I said bye.